This is the same circuit that we had last night with the constant current driver, although now to keep it a little bit cooler, I have the FET mounted on a really large piece of aluminum with some uh, heat sink conducting material. There's also a little uh, electrical insulator pad beneath it so that the, uh, I guess this is the drain of the FET, doesn't come in contact with the screw or the back, but it still does a good heat transfer. Uh, someone commented in the comments from the video yesterday that this FET will take a lot of heat, and that's absolutely true, especially since we're switching it uh, in its you know, non-linear region, sort of just as it's starting to open up. All of the rest of that energy, or a lot of it at least, is going to be turned into heat. So a tremendous amount of current is going to be taken by this FET, so you have to have a really high current rating FET. Um, also, my LED, the one I have here, is a 3 watt rated LED, so it, I guess it takes about 700 uh, milliamps or so. Right now I have it configured only to handle about 300 milliamps. I only have a few of these and I don't want to burn them up, so I'm just testing. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. The same LM324 operational amplifier, and for convenience I put a button here. And so I can turn it on and off when I want to. The um, voltage at the gate of the FET is on the voltmeter here, which is about 3.7 volts right now. Yeah, 3.7 volts. And then the uh, voltage driving the LED is here. Uh, so I, keep, I have it at a pretty low voltage now. When I push the button, it is dramatically bright. Um, touch test here, it still seems pretty cool. And I'm, I'm under, we'll pulse it there, I'm under driving it. Uh, as we see when it's on, we're drawing about 300 milliamps. So I can push this higher. Oh, that's another thing that's cool. Um, let's see, I'm going to short this so that it's always on and twist this knob that I did earlier. Ooh. Yeah, so now we can have brightness control. So here's very dim, and I can go brighter, dimmer. So for example, as I twist this, you can see the blue light on the left indicates the current. Now I have only maybe 20 milliamps, and it's pretty dim. I can brighten it up like that, and now it's drawing 120 milliamps. So I have a intensity control this way. Touch test. The FET's getting pretty warm, but not too toasty. Um, and I haven't tried this yet, but my theory is that if I increase the voltage, the intensity should stay about the same. I'm going to bring this up. Yeah, look at that. So now we're at 22 volts. Touch test. Still pretty cool. Still pretty cool. The FET's cool too, or the, uh, the op ramp's cool. So just as before, I can adjust the voltage, or adjust the intensity, by twisting this knob here. And I'm very carefully watching, trying to keep it under 700 milliamps. Wow, that's great. Cool. Okay, I'm going to take that out before I burn anything up here. I still haven't tested these, load tested too much, so I don't know how hard I can drive them, but that's extraordinarily bright. So we have a working prototype here. The next stage is to have voltage control from, an amp, from a microcontroller. I could do this either with a PWM signal smoothed out to be an analog value, or I'm thinking about using a digital potentiometer to very accurately and precisely generate that voltage. So this is, this is sort of step two in that LED driving circuit, and tune in later to see how it goes.